Retrotech. In the retro spotlight today, we have the Beckman Circuit Mate DM77, circa early 1980s, probably 82, 83-ish. Um, yeah, this is a vintage multimeter, digital multimeter, that uh, has a special place in my heart. Vintage operator's manual. Boy, they weren't messing around. Look at that. Nice pictures. Good typeset font. Um, this was actually a dual manual. This was for the DM77 as well as the DM73. Uh, they did two in one, but a, a pretty nice, nice job. And look at that. Even give us a parts list. A parts list and schematics. Can you imagine? Wow, they weren't they weren't fooling around back then. They really wanted you to have all the info, unlike today where they don't want to tell you anything. Um, yeah, awesome. Now the main box is a little worse for wear, uh, but it does give you a bit of quick lowdown. Look at that. DC AC volts, DC AC amps, resistance, 10 amps AC DC, and look what you get. A battery, instruction manual, test leads, and the multimeter, of course. And there is that gorgeous meter. Look at that. Oh, this is one sweet looking vintage. Now, Circuit Mate, part of the Beckman family, and you all know Beckman. Um, they were basically a huge name back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Unfortunately, not so much today, but wow, I'm telling you, they had some amazing, Take a amazing. Quick gander, these two. On the left, we have the Parkside, brand new. On the right, the 40 plus year old Circuit Mate 77. DM77, I mean, incredible, like 40 plus years old. And if anything, I'd have to say the circuit mate is probably better made. Go figure. It's called progress. Uh. So here we have the classic uh, multimeter style, shape and design. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, big selector switch and uh, very, very easy to read. Um, nothing amiss. We have four banana input jacks, separate milliamp, uh, and resistance as well as that separate high current so yeah they weren't messing around and uh made in japan as you can Let's see look at that look at that battery symbol it, it, it just you know blows my mind when i think of today's meter manufacturers it seems unless you're spending hundreds of dollars on a multimeter you're not going to have easy simple fuse access makes absolutely no sense one of the neat features as well with the DM77 is the resistance mode. You actually have an either uh, a low or high voltage resistance. Yeah, you have an option. So uh, for low voltage resistance, it's indicated the by very top. We have that LP and the Omega symbol and uh, that flashing one. So that just tells us that we are in low voltage resistance. These are the genuine test leads as well that came with this Beckman. Um, you know what? They are in really good shape, all things considered. Banana style inputs simply go like so. And I'm telling you, that is super snug. Oh, that is so snug. Wow, definitely not going anywhere. All right, let's just try a couple of quick tests here to see how the old Beckman is going to do in 2022. And let's just test out this 100 ohm resistor. And that is oh so close, 99.8.7. Oh, yes. Speaking of the selector switch, this is oh such a nice switch, I'm telling you. You do have a chirp when you're switching ranges, but wow, it is just beautiful, beautiful. Oh, they did and a good here we job. are now in high current mode, sitting at around 3.2 amps. Not a problem. Okay, let's try some DC accuracy. Five volts is what we want. Let's put that test lead in, and it's gonna make a little beeping sound, I noticed. Yeah, a little chirp, just to let you know that you are uh, in, I guess, a measurement mode. Oh, wow, look at that, 4.84 volts. That's a little short. Oh, okay, so 40 years later. Yeah, it looks like we do need some adjusting. 4.84 volts, definitely not five. Okay, well, guess what, circuit mate? You did good up until now. But you know what, we're gonna give you a lot of, not, not to worry, 40 plus years, I, I, no, I'm not taking it against you. Next up, we'll take a quick look at AC mode and just hit that mode switch and there we are into AC. Let's see what we have. Maybe we can do a little bit better than DC, I hope. Okay. And once again, we get that little audible beep and survey says, Wow, not bad, 120 volts, that is pretty well spot on. Good stuff, so AC mode is just fine. Excellent. To take the back off, we have that one screw, and look at that nice washer as well. And here is a little opening, a housing for the audible speaker. 
very very nice okay let's open up this 40 year old meter and see what's on the inside oh i'm excited bird's eye view of the dm 77 ah uh, we had to pull off that selector knob to get the top off and once we did did that it was easy breezy look at that some nice shielding front and back very very nice we have some grounding at the bottom let's take a look at that surface pcb whoa look at those input jacks absolutely love them nice big huge solder oh so nicely done there's our grounding spring there's the selector switch itself the on off and the um, function selector of course this is uh, the main ic here but uh, all in all very very nice just getting a little bit closer on those inputs and wow beautiful job isn't it I'm telling you oh my god those things are definitely going to be standing the test of time opposite side of the pcb there is our big current shunt now we don't have any high current fuse on this meter so you're dealing with this current shunt that's handling all the juice that's it that's all here we have a tr1 and tr2 these are calibration pots for user calibration for the voltage a, a dc and the voltage ac tr1 tr2 over here we have a couple of shot key diodes those are the uh, one ss 97s uh, no longer in production that's all part of the uh circuitry for that high current input here of course is that piezo giving us all that nice beepity beep going on uh yeah finally at the top of the meter we have our milliamp fuse um 200 milliamp was the rating on the meter this is actually a 500 milliamp fuse that beckman included oh, good stuff anyway that's it not much else going on uh lots of through hole here uh, yeah loving it okay let's put it back together so i did try that tr1 uh dc voltage calibration and it did help a little bit but uh, yeah nowhere near perfect that's for sure so 4.89 4.90 back and forth that's what we're getting now on that five volt reference but uh oh well i tried maybe at some point if i feel adventurous i might put it on a dc calibrator see if we can do better hope you enjoyed this little peek of a classic dmm from the 80s the circuit mate dm 77